what are those first one is without coding nothing but declarative integration declarative integration second one programmatic integration programmatic integration Declarative integration means what? Whenever you are integrating Salesforce with some third-party application, whenever you are integrating the Salesforce with the third-party applications, okay, we have two ways are available: declarative and programmatic. Declarative means what? Without coding. Without coding, we can able to integrate that Salesforce with the third-party systems. Second one with the coding. Okay, with the coding, we can able to integrate that Salesforce with the third party systems. Then what do you mean by declarative? That means without writing any code, without using any programming languages, without using any APIs, just by using some more clicks also, we can able to integrate Salesforce with some third party systems. Then how can we do that over here? How can we implement declarative integrations? Declarative integration can be implemented with the help of two ways. The first one is by using integration tools. By using integration tools. These are also called as EI tools. Enterprise application integration tools. Okay. Enterprise application integration tools. We have so many integration tools are available in our IT industry. Like for example, we have TIPCO. TIPCO is one integration tool. Web methods. CBR. CBR is also one of the integration tool. And the Microsoft Vista. Microsoft Vista is also one of the integration tool. We are having Dell Boomi. So now from Dell organization, we are having an integration tool that is called as a Boomi. Dell Boomi is also one of the integration tool to integrate that Salesforce with some external systems. And then we have Informatica Cloud. Informatica Cloud is one of the product through which we can able to integrate that Salesforce with some third party systems. Along with that Moolsoft. Previously Moolsoft is a separate organization, but right now Moolsoft is comes under Salesforce now. Moolsoft has been acquired by Salesforce. And then, along with that, we are having some app exchange products. App exchange products. As part of app exchange, we are having so many products are available for you. We can use some integration tools like as Kipco, Web Methods, CBR, Microsoft Vista, Dell's Boomi, Informatica Cloud, Salesforce, my, my Moolsoft, and then we are having a App action products along with that we are having some Jitterbit. Jitterbit is also one of the integration tools, and along with that we are having the Cast Iron. Like that we have so many integration tools are available in our IT industry. Through these tools we can able to integrate. Along with that we are having some specific products are also available as part of App action. Inside that App action we are going to be using this App action products also. Now, so now align with that. Now, in this case, so now we are having this app exchange products also. When you go to that Salesforce app exchange, we can see so many products related to integration feature. Like for example, when you go to that app exchange, as part of this app action, you know how to open this app exchange, what are the applications are available, you are aware of. In our initial concept, we have discussed. When you go to this app exchange, you will be having one category called as especially integration. So now as part of this integration, we can able to see what are the various app action products are available, which are especially designed for integration of Salesforce with some third party applications. Now we can able to use that. That is nothing but data loader that I work. This is one of the tools. Jitter with And then we are having the eShop synchronization over here for the eShopify. And then Salesforce connector and the Jira tool. For the Jira, we can integrate with that Salesforce. And then we are having the simple import in order to import the data over here. And then Graph SQL, we can able to connect the, the Salesforce with any 
database and we can able to execute that query, get the data we can able to represent in the form of the picturical format. And then we are having the Agile Connect over here. Salesforce, we can able to interact with the, the Jira tool also here. We can able to integrate. So like that here, we are going to be having the various integration tools are available. Okay, we are having various integration tools are available through which we can able to integrate your Salesforce with that other third party applications. Now, so like that, if you want to see some more, then click on show more, we can able to see. Salesforce to Outlook also we can integrate. Salesforce to Gmail also we can integrate. Salesforce to WhatsApp also we can integrate. Like that, so many applications are available as part of this integration domain. So that here we can able to collect all those applications as well here. So now in this case, by using this particular application products, we can able to integrate that Salesforce with any external systems also without writing any code. Now, so along with that here, the second one, as part of my Salesforce organization, okay, as part of my Salesforce organization, we are having one specific feature given by Salesforce, Salesforce to Salesforce integration. Whenever you are going to be integrating the Salesforce to Salesforce to transfer the data, at that time, we are going to be using Salesforce to Salesforce integration feature, which has been given by Salesforce by default. It is an inbuilt feature of Salesforce. We no need to install anything. It's not an application product. It's a ready-made feature given by Salesforce as part of your organization. Let me show you. When you go to your Salesforce organization, here we are having a feature called as Salesforce to Salesforce. Go to the customize. Here we are having an option called as Salesforce to Salesforce. That means we can able to integrate one Salesforce instance with another Salesforce instance without writing any code, just by using those pointers. We'll see tomorrow we are discussing about the Salesforce to Salesforce integration. Without writing any code, how can we connect two Salesforce organization? That may be from two different uh, regions also. Those may not be in the same region. Those may not be in the same server. Those may be from different servers also. Those may be from different regions also. How can we pass the data? How to transfer the records from one Salesforce organization to another Salesforce organization? We'll see with the help of this Salesforce to Salesforce integration facility in Salesforce. So this is one inbuilt facility which have been given by Salesforce. Here we'll see how to implement this functionality step by step. Practical part we'll see in tomorrow's session. And then, along with that, Salesforce is providing one platform, a separate platform given by Salesforce that is called as Heroku platform. Heroku platform has been defined by Salesforce, implemented by Salesforce, especially for the integration of Salesforce with some third-party applications. So in this case, these are the various ways are available to you. Okay, these are the various ways are available to you. Whenever if you want to integrate that Salesforce with some third party systems, we have the first way is a declarative. That means without writing any code, just by using most pointers, we can integrate that Salesforce with some third party systems as well. For that one, we are using integration tools like uh, the TIPCO, Web Methods, CBR, Microsoft Bistock, Dell Sabumi, Informatica Cloud, Moolsoft, Jitterbit, Cast Iron and the various app action products are also available for us. And along with that, as part of our Salesforce organization, we are having a feature called as Salesforce to Salesforce integration feature, which has been given by Salesforce. Through this feature also, we can able to integrate our Salesforce application with another Salesforce application. Now, this is especially for Salesforce to Salesforce only, not for Salesforce to third party. Salesforce to Salesforce feature is applicable only from one Salesforce organization to another Salesforce organization to integrate, to transfer the data. And the third one, Heroku platform. So these are the three ways are available which are comes under integrate, declarative integration. And the next one, programmatic integration. 